why. I have so many of them. That's going to be a hard question to try to narrow it down to just one or two. Uh, oh, my goodness. I think uh, Mariah Mitchell has to probably be it. When you imagine this really fantastic scientist, this exploring, uh, ever-curious scientist who would hold political rallies in the observatory, I, I think it goes back to that. Mariah Mitchell, whom I've come to understand very well, although she's been dead all these years. She was a wonderful person. Yeah. Moments in Vassar history. Well, I think it had to be when we went co ed, because I think that transformed the future of the college. Yeah. I think we are a much stronger institution today now that we have both men and women. And who, the people who were brave enough to make that decision in the late 60s really have done so much for our school. Yeah. I'm in the first co-educational class. That must be my favorite moment in Vassar Great. history. And that's better than being the board chair and thinking back to like Matthew Vassar dying at the board at the board meeting. So yeah, so I would say uh, co-education. Ooh, um, you know, I think the, the quote that I like the best is actually the one when President Raymond is writing to his wife who hasn't been able to come yet to campus and it's the first night that students have arrived at on the campus ever uh -huh. in Maine. And so that that's pretty cool. Yeah, do you remember what he said or what he wrote? Well, he, he just talks about the building coming alive and all the, the lights coming on and being able to see in the windows and see the bustle and the, the young women seeming to be settling in and seem, seemed excited and happy to be there. So it was just kind of cool to picture Maine uh, the very first night that it had students living in it. Um, actually, I guess some of the moments that I'm remembering now just have to do with my department uh -huh. because we just finished writing the history of the art department. Yeah. So I think everyone has been finding the same thing who's been working on these that they're sort of rediscovering all these characters that yeah. existed in the past and things that happened and events that, that occurred. My mother went to Vassar mm -hmm. and she was class of 39. Yeah. And, um, I think the memory that she drums up about the time when John Houseman was uh, was at Vassar uh, and Orson Welles and Mercury Theater. Uh -huh. uh, when I was there, we were allowed to go up on Main Roof. Really? Yes. So I always remember senior year just sneaking up onto the walkway there and just hanging out in the towers and, and sunbathing. Um, Vassar was it was just a wonderful, wonderful place. I went there knowing I was a major in science. I wanted humanities, and I just think that it was a absolutely terrific place. From when you go there, all there are nothing but endless possibilities. And what is your wish for Vassar for the next 150 years? Oh, I think my wish would be easily said. It's to be able to somehow, and I think we will, there's no question of it, maintain the same degree of originality and, and the sort of boldness of reach in everything that we've had in the past. Um, that is clear. I mean, this is a very original, energetic, right. um, just deeply interesting place that isn't quite like any other. I hope that Vassar continues the vision that some of its leaders have developed to make Vassar a place that produces students that have a global vision, that understand that Vassar's history is a part of world history. I guess as a financial reporter, I, I hope that uh, its endowment grows by leaps and bounds, and then uh, and then they can uh, they won't have to charge tuition anymore. Oh, that would be excellent. Yeah, I agree. With that. Um, I hope it can successfully. Um, weather this difficult time, not just for the economy, but for liberal arts education. My wish for Vassar is that at its bicentennial, it will be one of the strongest colleges of, you know, of the elite private schools. That it will be thriving for its next hundred years, at least. That it continue to be as wonderful a place as it is today. That it keeps on giving that spirit to every student that comes here. You know, it just is extraordinary to me as I talk to one generation of kids after another. They all get it. It's about thinking in a different way. It's about using a liberal arts education to change the world. So I hope we keep on changing.